Are you being called by Hecate? Hello witches, I'm answering questions I've gotten on videos about Hecate, so if you're on or you can check out the playlist, this is part of to see other Q&A. First of all, I can't tell you. However, if you're asking this question, the answer is both yes you are and no you're not. Let me explain. The idea of being called by a deity has been tainted by fantasy fiction. In all of us exists the idea that the gods calling us is super extra important. <gasps> the masculine side of the force has been tainted by evil and the only one that can save us is Randall Thor. He has been called and has no choice but to save the world. But in most cases that's not what's happening to us. Feeling as though Hecate was drawing me to her came with a large dose of imposter syndrome. I'm pretty sure that's why most people grapple with this question. But let's look at the paganism of yesteryear. Think of Athena, the patron goddess of Athens. It would be completely nonsensical for someone to say, am I being called by Athena? If you lived in the city of Athens, you gave her offerings, asked for her blessings, and venerated her. But wait, what about gods of things? So let's say you were a soldier. Mars is going to be one of your favorite deities. We weren't there, so we don't know. So perhaps they said, I feel called by Mars. But what were they being called about? They were being called into soldierhood. They were being called into a profession. That is what they meant by being called. Listen, there is something inside of you that is attracted to Hecate. And if there's something inside of you attracted to her, there is an aspect of her that exists in you. If you feel that she's calling you, it's that piece of you, that energy current that's calling you home. So to the question of whether she is calling you or not, yes, she is, because you are calling to yourself. But is she calling you in a way that gives you no choice in the matter? Are you committing to her forever? Are you pledging your soul to be aligned with hers until the end of time? Absolutely not. This applies to most deities, but especially in the case of Hecate, she values sovereignty. You get to decide. It's your body. It's your your life. She's calling you, but you decide if you answer. So tell me, what about Hecate is alive inside of you? If you have questions about witchcraft or Hecate, put them in the comments. I don't know everything, but I'm happy to share what I do know.